my goodness. So many mini sketchbooks. Close up clean of sketchbooks. All made from watercolor paper and all made by me. is a cute one that has just been finished recently and it is the Indonesian food. Let's take a look at this one quickly. The colour adds, here you're not so sure what it is and then we add colour and we can tell what they are if you know about Indonesian food. Um, I know some of them. I know the Nazi Goran, we have a lot. Um, minus the fish, it's not like an authentic Nazi Goran. But, Nazi means the rice. So you know there's going to be rice if you see the word Nazi. This one looks pretty. So, I don't know if I'm saying it correct. Soto, Soto. But it looks that to me, obviously there's egg there and noodles. They seem to like a lot of um, tempura, I think it's called, uh, chicken basically. That's what that one is. And dumplings, kind of tempura dum dumplings and stuff. That one here. I don't know what that is. Obviously there's rice in there. Nazi. But kuning, I don't know what that is. It looks like an upside down lemon. Or a green thingy on top. And there's spiky green leaves all the way around the dish. All kind of circles of cucumber. And sectioned off dishes. I mean this is just literally sketches. The rendang is cubes of red meat. Probably beef, I think it is. And this is the Nazi Goran. This is, it, they have a lot of squid and shrimp, uh, prawns, basically. And that's a bit of lettuce and tomato. But we, we take out the seafood element. And there is satay. Now, I used to really enjoy this. Um, traditionally, I think in Indonesia, it's pork. But we have chicken satay and it's a spicy, uh, not for me too spicy, but we just like, traditionally it's spicy peanut butter sauce. For me, no spice. <laughs> so the peanut butter sauce and thin strips of chicken skewered and grilled and kind of baked, um, it marinated before cooking in a kind of spice mix and then the peanut butter and then grilled with the peanut butter sauce as well. You serve it with the dipping peanut butter sauce but it's hot. That one looks fun too, I don't know. It's called Pen Peck. Not had that. But they like the chilies too. <laughs> I think that's kind of like a dumpling. Sop Conro seems to be, and I can't quite remember the cut, but it is meat. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but this is the, you know, the bone of the meat. And um, it's in like a soup, which is interesting. This looks more like a, uh, spring rolls to me. It's tempered um, parcels. I think this could be chicken, and these are like the dumplingy spring rolls. giving me lots of fun to do this food art project and I'm learning a lot too and I hope that that is coming across to you guys and then this I think it's called Gudig Gudig is served in I think a huge cabbage leaf it's definitely a huge green leaf and it's rice and meat like a meat sauce and I finished the Greek food <laughs> with the masaka and the zucchini fritters and the chicken souvlaki and the Greek chicken gyros and then we've got the 
quarter car pizza, the Greek orange cake, and the Greek salad, and the Greek yogurt and coloured versions. This is, I think, going to be a breakfast. All, when it's all unfolded, we've got like the coffee pot and the fruit salad. It'll be lots and lots of fun. I love opening them up. They're just such great fun. Hey guys, my Jackson Art Supplies order has arrived and I'm going to unbox it. I unbox off camera and put the packages on my desk. Hi everybody. Here is the unboxing. Now this was at the top of the box. It wasn't wrapped in anything. And it is my very first Cardi watercolour paper. Now Cardi is 100% handmade, acid-free, recycled cotton paper that is handmade in India. Apparently the recycled cotton comes from recycled t-shirts. I didn't know that. So this is going to be really exciting to try. It's uh, a 15 by 15 centimeter sketch book. Now I don't know if it's an actual sketch book or a pad. Um, I've seen other reviews uh, of, similar to of this and it was more like a sketch pad. But either way, there's about 15 sheets of this paper. So you'll be able to do double sided and I will use this in a future video. So put that to one side. Then there was this box. We'll see how we can open this on camera. Hopefully it's easy. Oh good. It is easy. There we go. Hopefully that's in frame. So I've got my very first set of Holbein gouache and it's artist's gouache and the fun thing about this is it's a five color 15 mil starter set it's the primary color mixing set you have primary magenta primary yellow primary primary cyan primary black and primary white and these on the back it gives you that you can mix almost any colour. Now Holbein is Japanese and it says with the primary colours, a primary colour is a colour that cannot be created by mixing other colours. Well we know that don't we? And so basically these primary colours you can mix absolutely any other colour that you want. Now there's been a little bit of umming and ahhing in the art community about that because this is using the printer method you know your household printers use this method and are able to produce literally any color for when you're printing so this is the concept in here and i've never tried holbein japanese they look lovely Again, you'll be seeing these in my future videos. And with gouache, uh, you don't need much. It's like with watercolour. Basically, gouache is opaque watercolour. It is a water-based medium, which means you use water, like with watercolour. And these, because they're artist grade and light fast, a, l a little is going to go a very long way so they're going to last this one little box from Jackson Art Supplies obviously it's the unboxing of Jackson Art it uh, cost about £22 so it's not bad considering we've got some of these polystyrene little wopsits as I call it do you remember if you're in the United Kingdom you'll know exactly what I'm on about Wopsits are cheese flavoured um, kind of snacks that look just like this but are orange. Okay, so then 
I also purchased a separate tube of yellow ochre which is the gouache again because I get through a lot of yellow ochre and I though you can obviously mix it I need to have it in a tube that I can easily get at it so then at the bottom here oh, we've still got one more little thing we've got this little Da Vinci paper bag now I haven't bought anything Da Vinci but uh, Jackson Art Supplies like to reuse their packaging and I like to do that as well a very uh, eco-friendly company so put that to one side I purchased two I had finally made up my mind on two Neo Color 2 I've still got others to get but I made my mind up to get a Sahara Yellow and, sa and Russet which sand green but you know Russet so they're going to be added to my tin and then this last little pack here is some sample paper of the Jackson's Two Rivers um, it's white handmade rag watercolour paper I think there are three little sheets in here that are gelatin tub sized or something it's cotton slash linen and again it's something I will be doing in a future video so basically guys that is it we had the sketchbook some of this sample paper gouache and I think my whole order uh, in sterling was about 39 euros uh, not euros sterling 39 pounds so and that included the delivery so had a bit of a kerfuffle with payment with Jackson Art Supplies this time remember with me living in France so usually before Brexit I was able to use my French banking card and of course as Brexit's really taken a hold here in France the uh, French cards are no longer wanting to work in England so I did a panicked email to Jackson Art Supplies and I said you're going to lose customers if we can't use our bank cards and you know I really need to pay for my stuff before it all runs out and, and <laughs> because they had a sale on and everything was selling out and I was really desperate for the gouache and they, they, they assured me it wasn't them and actually they were quite correct and I did get back to them and said I'm really sorry um, my bank finally um, admitted that they needed to update our contract well my contract uh, with them to give me permission to use my card in Britain because it's considered Great Britain now is or United Kingdom is considered um, what is it a non-European country now and so <laughs> it's silly but anyway it's considered non-European and so we have to pay even though you know using the card I get pay I have to pay fees now uh, if I buy anything from the United Kingdom using that card so well, good job I've still got my United Kingdom bank account to uh, get rid of all the banking things but it, it's really silly the whole thing but I'm just so pleased I have been able to shop at Jackson Art Supplies and get these lovely offers and deals because yes I can shop in France but the products are incredibly expensive if I had purchased these in France I would have been paying incredibly double the amount as you saw from my Sennelier order I can get from Sennelier these Neo Color 2s out of all this I can get these two I can't get any of the other products and um, though the Neo Color 2s are sold a few cents cheaper you have to spend over 50 euros in order to qualify to have it sent to your home and then you still have to pay shipping on top of that anyway so you're looking at a good 10 euros extra so you're looking at like 70 to 80 by the time you're done 
and so it's not cost effective to, and I need little items and this is like a little mini haul so it's more cost effective you know isn't it to do Jackson Art Supplies now this is in a have to use some scissors it's in a ziplock little bag and it's been sellotaped so I probably won't be able to reuse this bag which is a shame because the, the sellotape's really stuck to it do this off camera I think okay <laughs> after about two to four, four or five minutes I got the bag off I had to cut it all off it can't be reused so we have this little kind of uh, paper wrapper I don't know if it will slide off I don't think it will we'll have to cut that I wouldn't probably go any smaller than 15 by 15 centimeters for this kind of paper simply because I just think it's going to look nicer to do like a bigger painting on the sketchbook yeah so it says cardi papers in red on the back and the whole thing is a book, like so, but plain. <laughs> so, okay. That's a bit like a cover and an inner cover. Interesting. Bit of a smell. Oh, I think I'm really going to enjoy using this. be for my better work for the food art project of designs I have so it was a little bit bent in the corners here it's probably why I, I you know would do rounded corners that would be my only thing because it they do get bent because there's no backing on them that it, normally a sketchbook would have at least a back cover for cardboard but this isn't it's literally all paper and glued together but it opens up easy I assumed it's glued the spine looks glued I think it is glued but you can open it really so that you get the full um, size so I wanted 15 but um, centimeters because I was thinking it's going to be a tight having to fight with the spine but you can fold it back on itself like so and it's not disintegrated so that's a plus isn't it it's very nice and it stays open like that this texture is what watercolor should be like the watercolor paper I'm not keen on really smooth watercolour paper. I get it because it's cheaper, but I always feel watercolour paper should be rough. Uh, that That is the rough texture. And uh, it just, it's so much more authentic and it looks lovely. That's just my personal opinion. So, we could do a design on the front cover together that would be fun in a video if you would like to do that you let me know in the comments below and then of course from amazon i did get this brush which is part of this kind of april art supply purchase and it was the number four round velvet touch by princeton and it looks really lovely and it feels lovely and I really like using it. Let me know if there are things that you would like to see me use first. Everything is going to get used. 
any ideas of what you would like to see with the Jackson's Two River sample papers. There are three squares of it. Shall we open it actually before I go? We'll have a quick look. I think this is one of the oldest mills maybe in the world. The Two Rivers paper mill. Yeah, I mean, look at that. I don't really want to touch it because of any grease on my fingers. I have washed my hands before doing this video to get rid of any oils, but it feels lovely. You always know when you have really good watercolour paper from the feel of it. You just know it's really lovely quality. And there are three perfect squares, perfect tiles. So we could do um, mini paintings, all for my food art project, obviously. That's the whole focus of this year. And it's something like that I could give away because they're small enough to give away. In that little envelope, I will keep. So don't forget to like this video, guys. It would help me out so much. And give me the thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Subscribing to my channel is totally free. It's almost like consider it as a follow button that you have on Twitter or Instagram. Subscribe on YouTube just means to follow. And when you hit that subscribe button, you will get notified of my future videos. And with that said, guys, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.